music for la 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 All right, so <clears throat> make mine music. Yep, I said it right. If you ever wanted to know what Disney would do with a Fantasia 2, not Fantasia 2000, that is, we're not there yet. If you want to know what a Fantasia 2 would look like, this would be that move, okay? It's pretty much all the recycled material that Disney had on hand and that they didn't use in Fantasia because of budget because of the budget or whatever but yeah a lot of the shorts are put into this movie along with some new shorts that you can tell are new because they're cheap cheaper not cheap we are not getting there yet so yeah let's just go over it the good okay the good the first crane the, the crane shorts the first short that's in this thing that one is beautiful okay it is breathtaking okay this is like fantasia if there was singing okay yeah i mean it's beautiful okay there we go enough said it a plus there you go um there's a jazz interlude I guess. Um, it's alright, I guess. It's music of the times. It's it's not like the timeless stuff that you would see with the classics as in Fantasia. It's music of the times. It would be like if rap or I guess pop maybe would be in a Fantasia movie. That would be kind of like this. And it's not bad. I mean, the animation's pretty good. The um, the music is not bad. It's just, you know, it seems really old. And, yeah, not worth my time. Let's see what else. Over, well, okay, overall. Overall, this entire thing, the animation is spectacular, okay? Even the cheap animation it's still pretty good. It, it's not crappy animation like you would probably see in later movies, but yeah, the animation is still pretty good. It's cartoony at times, sure, but it's a cartoon, okay? It's gonna be cartoon. Um, yeah, so there's this short called Lost Without You. I, yeah, I think this one was also part of Fantasia. It, again, is beautiful. Okay, A++. There you go. Um, yeah, if it's... If this movie was chopped into sections, which it might as well be, because it is... There's no narrative connecting... There's no narrative connecting this movie. It's just... Shorts. Jump. Just stuck together. That's it. So... If you can, find the crane shorts and find the Lost Without You shorts. Those two are awesome, okay? It's like it's like with the hat, the two hats that are coming together because they love each other. It reminded me a lot of that umbrella short that was with the Pix with Pixar, I think. I don't remember which movie it was connected to. I I think it was Monsters University. It's either Monsters University or Inside Out. One of those two. No, Inside Out was Lava. Okay, so yeah. The Umbrella Sink the Umbrella thing was part of Monsters Inc. I think that was it. So, yeah. So yeah, it reminded me a lot... This Lost Without You reminded me a lot about the umbrella. Because, yeah. The guy umbrella is blue. 
the woman umbrella is red. The guy hat is blue. The girl hat is pink. It's pretty much the same thing, okay? Except with hats and umbrellas and all that crap. So yeah. Casey at the Bats. This one is okay because it reminded me a lot of Looney Tunes and it was like a lot of slapstick. Kind of a tragic ending. Yeah. If you don't know, just go watch Casey at the Bat. You don't have to watch Make My Music and find it in there. Just look up Casey at the Bat. There you go. It's a little sexist though. It's a little sexist, and I gotta mark it down for that. Even though they weren't as progressive as they were, as they are now, I mean, we're progressive now. We gotta call it as it is, okay? So yeah. Ballad, ballet, I think that's what it's called. Th these words, man, they just wind them up and you just, they're just hard to say. But anyway, this is again a mixture of live action and animation. It is so, this one's probably a little bit better because there's silhouettes, okay? Which makes it a little bit better for the merging of the two. Beautiful. Beautiful, okay? Ballad Ballet, okay? Look that up. That is a great short, okay? Spectacular, spectacular short. Um. Peter and the Wolf. This short could have been, again, a great short. Like, kind of like with Ballad Ballet, or the first, the Swan short, or Crane short, or whatever the first short was in this movie. However, the narrator is freaking annoying, okay? Every time he speaks, I want to, like, punch him. I want to kick his ass because he's messing up. He's screwing with this short, okay? There's, like, mu he explains in the beginning that there's music that accompanies each character. I could barely hear. I could barely hear the music that is associated with the character because he was talking all the time about everything. Oh, and by the way, we also have a Disney death on our hands. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming back to the Disney deaths. I, yeah, are you surprised? So, today it is briefly, even though it's a kind of a cop-out that, spoiler alert, okay, there's this duck named Sonia, okay, and he dies because the wolf ate him. But apparently he survived. I don't know for the likes of me how. I'm gonna say he's just a ghost and he's not real. But yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, for Sonia the Duck. <laughs> And, um, yeah, there you go. Um, and, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, the quartet shorts. This one seemed, this one seemed a lot like Fantasia also. <clears throat> Although it was cheaper animation, this seemed like they were trying to make another Fantasia short because it was all like flowing and all this crazy stuff happening. There was like these musical instruments just like getting up and walking and just dancing and all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's fairly good, but it, it's fairly good, but it's like an acid trip, okay? You're not gonna wanna sit and watch, um, narrative, let me think. Cinderella. There we go. You, you wouldn't want to watch Cinderella and then go in watching this because it's like, you know, it's like an explosion. So, yeah. Now. <clears throat> a love story. Okay, that's good. Very good. I mean, that's it. I, I don't really have anything to really 
remember it from. I don't really... To like something I don't remember it, but it was okay. Okay, it wasn't, like, terrible. It was just not memorable, I guess. And then there's the creme de Lyons, okay? The opera... The opera whale. I'm not gonna s try to say operatic. I did say it. I think I said it wrong, but whatever. I'm gonna just call it the opera whale, okay? This is good, okay? This is the short that they should have ended with, and they did. Good job on your part, Disney. Um, this one actually has a narrative, too. So, it's pretty much about this whale who can sing opera in tenor pretty much every man tone, I guess. He can sing in every tone a man would. He can't sing like um, you know, like the really high girl singing, like, you know, I don't, I can't do it. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. Comment below if you know what that is, okay? But, um, yeah. He can sing in every man tone. He gets a gig singing and he's huge, okay? He's selling out. And, um, then another death happens, he dies, and then he sings in heaven. So yeah, this is an official death, ladies and gentlemen. Official death in the Disney canon, the opera-matic, opera whale, or whatever. So yeah, opera whale. <laughs> So, yeah, there we go. The opera whale is pretty good, okay? This one, I think, with better animation, could have been maybe in a kind of, in Fantasia 2000, okay? Not Fantasia, because that's like really serious stuff, and this is like more silly. It could be in Fantasia 2000. And, um, yeah. There's one guy who voices pretty much everybody in this short. Now, why did I like this guy voicing all the people when I didn't like the narrator and the other, in the, um, Peter and the Wolf constantly saying his opinion? Because you only hear his voice. He doesn't try to voice the characters. He's just saying stuff from a third point of view. From, like, a third reader. Of the third point of view, I guess. Not first person, third person. Third person point of view. But with this guy, he is actually voicing everybody in the first person. And it's funny, because sometimes he has to go a lot higher, like, he has to voice a woman. That's funny. He has to voice a cat. That's funny. You know, it's kind of silly. And I like silly. It's good. So overall, what I like, what I, what I think about this movie, you know what? Normally, I do not like these type of movies. However, the shorts in this movie were pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, they were, they kind of surprised me. So, I will say that this movie is... Uh, okay. I'll say this movie's okay. Is it good? No? For the reason, the reason being, that you can watch the individual shorts now. You don't have to watch the entire movie. 
and some of the shorts are not that great. But if you watch the, some of the individual shorts, some of them are fantastic. Others are not, and they weigh the movie down. Also, with the fact that it doesn't really have a flowing narrative. If you have a better flowing narrative than Saludos Amigos or um, Three Collaborados, if you had a better narr flowing narrative, I would probably say it's good. But yeah, you can pretty much just chop it up and chop it up now and watch it on YouTube, okay? So yeah, there you go. That is the uh, Make Mine Music. And um, yeah, there you go. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, I'm talking to you out there. Subscribe. Check out the other contents, okay? I work hard on this crap, as you can see by the editing and whatnot. Yeah, there you go. Please subscribe. I. I please.